As you start the game, you're transported to a bustling marketplace in 1850 St. Louis, the gateway to the West. The first major decision you'll face is choosing which family to guide on this treacherous journey. Each family has unique strengths and challenges, so let's meet them. First up, we have the Thatcher family. They're a hard-working, middle-class family with modest savings. Mr. T is a skilled carpenter, and Mrs. T is adept at sewing and cooking. Their teenage son is strong and eager to help with the heavy lifting, while their younger daughter is smart and resourceful. The Thatchers have a decent amount of wealth, but their real advantage lies in their diverse skill set. Next, meet the Abbott family. They are wealthy merchants. They can afford more supplies and better equipment, but they lack practical survival skills. Mr. A is a shrewd businessman, and Mrs. Abbott is used to a comfortable lifestyle. Their two children are young and inexperienced in the ways of the frontier. Their wealth gives them an edge, but their lack of survival skills could be a hindrance. Then we have Francis Andrews, a hardy pioneer with excellent survival skills but limited resources. He is an experienced hunter and is knowledgeable about herbal medicine and foraging. While he has little money, the ability to live off the land might just be his ticket to Charles Oregon. Charles Kuno was a notable figure. Recognized for his adventurous spirit and significant contributions to the westward expansion. As an immigrant who embraced the promise of new opportunities, Kuno became a trailblazer, an entrepreneur, participating in the arduous journeys across the Oregon Trail. He was known for his resilience and resourcefulness, which allowed him to thrive despite the harsh conditions and numerous challenges faced by pioneers. Jonathan Prescott was a prominent figure in the 1850s pioneer days of Western America, celebrated for his pioneering spirit and substantial role in the westward expansion. As a determined settler, Prescott embarked on the challenging journey across the Oregon Trail, driven by the promise of new beginnings and opportunities. Known for his leadership and ingenuity, he successfully navigated the harsh terrains and numerous adversities that pioneers faced. And finally, Tilden and Richards will just conveniently gloss right over, in part because chat GPT doesn't have much dirt on them, but mostly because I am goddamn bored at this point. Suffice it to say, they were some hard-ass hombres to have made it through that life, huh? You keyboard warrior suicidal undersex degenerates of 2024 society. Once you've chosen your family, it's time to prepare for the journey. Budgeting is crucial, so let's break down how to allocate your resources effectively. First, food. You'll need to stock up on non-perishable items like flour, beans, and dried meat. Aim to budget enough for at least six months. Remember, hunting along the way can supplement your food supply, but it's unpredictable. Next, grooming and hygiene. Basic hygiene is essential to prevent disease. Allocate some budget for soap, a comb, and basic medical supplies. Cleanliness might seem like a luxury, but it can be a lifesaver on the trail. Clothing is another important consideration. The weather will be harsh and unpredictable, so ensure you have durable clothing for all seasons. Budget for sturdy boots, warm coats, and rain gear. Hunting and survival supplies are crucial for your journey. Invest in a good rifle, ammunition, fishing gear, and traps. These will not only help you hunt for food, but also protect your family from potential dangers. With supplies in tow, the next critical decision is choosing your route. There are several paths to Oregon, each with its own risks and rewards. Let's explore the options. The most popular route is the Oregon Trail. It's well-traveled, so there are more established trading posts and help along the way. However, this also means it's crowded and resources can be scarce. 
The trail takes you through the Great Plains, over the Rocky Mountains, and finally into Oregon. Alternatively, you could take the California Trail. This route diverges from the Oregon Trail and heads south. It's less crowded and can be faster, but it's also more dangerous, with harsh deserts and treacherous mountain passes. Another option is the Mormon Trail. It runs parallel to the Oregon Trail for much of the way, but is less frequented. This route offers the chance to meet and trade with other travelers, but it also means fewer established settlements. As you set out on your chosen route, the game becomes a real test of your decision-making and resource management skills. You'll face various challenges, such as river crossings, sudden storms, and potential illnesses. Your choices will determine whether your family thrives or struggles. Hunting is a crucial aspect of survival. You'll need to balance the need for fresh meat with the risk of injury or wasting ammunition. Ammunition. Keep an eye out for game and remember to ration your bullets wisely. Throughout the journey, you'll encounter interactive decisions that can alter the course of your adventure. For instance, you might come across other travelers in need of help. Do you share your resources or do you prioritize your family's survival? You'll also face opportunities to trade with settlers and Native American tribes. These interactions can provide valuable supplies and information, but they also require careful negotiation. To make a personal request, receive channel merchandise, or to just hook a brother up, hit up the cash app on the screen, or make a contribution to the PayPal shown on the screen.